Now, yesterday was World Cancer Day, an opportunity to take a closer look at red light therapy for us here at France 24. It is a cosmetic treatment that uses low wavelength red light to improve skin appearance, but it is also now being touted for its medical uses, including for people who are undergoing chemotherapy and radiotherapy. To tell us a bit more, Julia Seeger from our science desk is with me. And Julia, first of all, just tell us, what is red light therapy? So it's called red light therapy, but it's also called photobiomodulation. It's a type of light therapy that uses red and near red infrared. Uh, so just beyond the visible spectrum to the naked eye. Now, what's going to happen is the light is going to penetrate the skin, penetrate the derm, and start simulating, uh, enhancing and stimulating the, mit the mitochondrial activity, which is a protein that can regenerate cells. Mm -hmm. Now, it actually uh, was discovered almost by chance in the 1960s, a surgeon was was experimenting with laser be beams and he to remove tumors from mice and he really noticed that there was faster healing and uh, quicker hair growth in those areas that were exposed to a specific wavelength of red light and the technique only then became more widespread after the development of LEDs. Now the light itself is completely painful, it, uh, painless, excuse me of course, uh, and uh, it's widely used in, in the cosmetic field to get rid of acne but also cellulite and today it's also used in oncology. Why? Because it helps heal damaged tissues, it helps improve immune response, and it reduces inflammation. So pretty much all of the side effects that you can have if you undergo heavy treatments such as radiotherapy and chemotherapy. If you undergo radiotherapy, for instance, uh, you might experience what we call radi uh, radiation dermatitis, which are skin burns, or uh, mucositis, which is inflammation of oral mucus. Uh, if you undergo um, chemotherapy, for instance, then you can also uh, experience tingling and numbness in, in your hands and in your feet, and that can help there too. Now, the before and after results are pretty incredible. Let's take a look uh, together. Here is a patient who underwent radiotherapy, and after 10 days and four sessions of red light therapy, this is what happened. The result is pretty remarkable. Mm. Uh, it's almost all gone, all of the burns, and that's going to actually happen over time. It's going to uh, stay that way over time and even protect from future burns, from future um, radiotherapy sessions. Now, there's also other clinical uh, studies that are currently underway to try to expand the use of this technique uh, to treat what we call uh, peripheral um, neuropathies and, and other symptoms of uh, linked to radiotherapy and chemotherapy. So those images are pretty impressive indeed, Julia, but beyond oncology, could the technique be used for other medical issues? It probably will, and it's starting to be uh, used in, in, in other, for other pathologies. So the main thing is that it addresses pain, right? So uh, it could also be used for trauma, but also everything having to do with autoimmune diseases that create certain pains uh, everywhere in the body. It also treats fatigue, so it could help with depression, for instance. And it's also now used for long-term effects of COVID, but also for pathologies that have no other therapeutic uh, alternatives, like uh, fibromyalgia, mm. which is a huge problem. Also, it helps with hair uh, growth, as I said earlier. So here it could actually help with alopecia. Uh, now, what's actually interesting about this technique is that it's opening up the way, paving the way for a whole new therapeutic uh, area, if you will. Until now, when it came to pain, there was really an approach to medicine that was really uh, you know, focused on chemistry, whereas here we're more on the physics part of it. So we're treating uh, the problem with the wavelengths directly. And because of quantum physics, we actually know that the entire human body is only made out of wavelengths and energy. So this is why certain doctors today consider that this is the way forward. All right. Really promising. Thank you very much indeed for telling us about it. Julia Seeger, our science editor. For us there.